they're going to be doing. In fact, I brought this up to Ramaswara Prabhu in Mayapur. I just saw him. He came to Mayapur. He hadn't been to Mayapur, you know, in 30 years or something. And uh, so uh, I said, Ramaswara Prabhu, do you remember that press conference in New York when, uh, when the reporter asked Prabhupada, and you were right there, Prabhu, uh, the reporter asked Prabhupada, how he knows who to who to pick to lead for leaders, and and Prabhupada, and Prabhupada said Krishna, Krishna tells me, and then Ramaswara at the time I think he I don't think he had taken sannyas yet, he, he he stepped in as, to try to explain what Prabhupada said to the reporter. This means that Srila Prabhupada gets the intelligence from Krishna in his heart to know how to make the right decision of who's going to manage. And then Prabhupada just cut him off. No, Krishna tells me. <laughs> he directly tells me. So in that way, you know, you could say he is omniscient in the sense, just like, you know, if you're, uh, if you're uh, the daughter, the, Obama has two daughters, so maybe they never went to, they never took a political science course or they didn't go to the Harvard School of Government, the JFK School of Government in Harvard. But they have a first-hand experience of what's going on in the presidency. Of course, they're just daughters, you know, they're kids still. But still, they, they got an insider's look at what's going on. So the, the peer devotee at Prabhupada's level, you know, Krishna's directly telling them, you know, what to do, who to, who to pick. But he's not, there's a, there's a oneness and a difference. So he's not God, and he's not omniscient, literally omniscient, the way God is. <coughs> Uh, and, oh yeah, <laughs> 26 Second Avenue, Prabhupada was being visited by members of the League for Spiritual Discovery, LSD. They were followers of Tim Leary from Millbrook, the estate in Long Island, where, where Timothy Leary was starting his own religion <laughs> based on LSD. All right. <laughs> the League for Spiritual So yeah, they came to the storefront. And they were promoting, you know, LSD. So, uh, so Prabhupada said, you don't need this. You know, this is material, it's a chemical, it's not spiritual. And they were very defiant, you know, how, how do you know? Have you taken? No, but my disciples have. And then he just turned it over <laughs> to them. And they will tell you that they're much higher, you know, they're much happier, <laughs> uh, you know, without taking LSD. And so then one of them said, well, if you're enlightened, then you have to, you should know how many windows are there in the Empire State Building. You know, so that was a measure of Prabhupada's enlightenment, right? So how did Prabhupada answer? Uh, how many droplets of water are there in a mirage? Prabhupada answered. Your question is about as meaningful as that, is my question to you. That's not a mark of God realization or whatever that might mean. Prabhupada always knew how to handle crazy questions with perfect answers. <laughs> anyway, anything about fictional problems? Um. This is the worship of the spiritual master in the, in the temple room. Is it okay on the Vyasa Puja that we worship him? Uh, I think it's okay on, on his day, right? Isn't that what the, the law reads? The GBC law? I'm not sure. I think that's oh. how it reads. I think you can worship him. Not simultaneous with Prabhupada's guru, Puja, but you know, um, they'll announce, okay, at 10 o'clock we're going to have a ceremony for you and how much. In the temple room, I think it's okay to do it. Uh, you have to look it up on um, GBC online. Do that in Mayapur for Jay Pataka Maharaj every year in the Panchatatwa hall. In the Panchatatwa hall. Uh, Upstairs. Temple room. No, no, no. In the temple room. Oh, no, no, in front of Panchatatwa. Okay, I in think that's all right. I think that's on those once a year on his birthday, but not every day, okay. you know, imitating Prabhupada's position. We had, uh, hmm? I said, 
one point we had this Iskan Guru Puja. Is that going on anywhere still? Iskan Guru Puja? Do you remember that? There was Guru Puja every day for Iskan Gurus before Prabhupada, often a separate room, and then Guru Puja for Prabhupada. Oh. Is that going on anywhere? You mean a generic? Yeah. Oh, and I had a Vyasa sofa? I heard about that. In my room, we had, no. had a big long Vyasa sofa or something. And then pictures of all kinds of gurus. Yeah. Oh. That sounds generic. Sounds like Guru Purnima. You know that on the calendar? Guru Purnima. Vyasa Purnima. Okay. No, I just thought to say that uh, I think in this time when uh, some spiritual masters say fell down from their position, that I, I personally just think that uh, many disciples they had the need of um, worshiping the spiritual master, like they put him up on an unreasonable uh, height, and uh, that might have uh, influenced also the spiritual master's way of. Uh, dealing with some disciples in an improper way or whatever, but uh, it seems to me like it's like um, both ways, you know, like <laughs> I have a spiritual master who left because of becoming too proud at one time, but uh, I think the first 18 years uh, I loved, uh, I served him because uh, uh, he was simply uh, wanted to be invisible between himself and Shila Rampa, so... Uh, anyway, I, I just very much appreciated the humility and, uh, and, and uh, these teachings for so many years, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. Huh? yeah, that's why we don't need reinitiation technically. You don't need that. You already have parents who gave birth to you, gave you a second birth. They just need to take shelter of Prabhupada through so many wonderful devotees. But that was the, I mean, if you did take an initiation, which you did, uh, that was the, that was part of the growth process in this kind of, that, was, that, that was the line, right? You need to take reinitiation. You need to do that. Because it's really all about the Diksha Guru. You've got to have a new Diksha Guru. Eh, you know, you already got your parents. Sometimes, Parents have a hard time. Sometimes they go to jail. Sometimes they get on drugs. And, you know, but they're still your parents. <laughs> anyway, there are so many people who can help us in our relationship with Prabhupada. So we really don't need that. But that's, that was a phase. I don't know, is it still going on? But not so many fall downs anymore because people are... <laughs> They don't dare imitate. That's what causes it. You know, pride goeth before what is it? Pride goeth before destruction and the fall. Pride goeth before the fall and destruction before a haughty spirit. It says in the Bible. Yeah. But that's nice. That's a nice reminder. Yeah, like when I go to New Vrindavan, I meet people in the old days who. Kirtanam Maharaj helped so much, you know, he, he was, you know, and then of course he had problems. And because he was a leader, the whole community had problems, but he did a lot of good to them. And they don't forget that. They don't just remember the bad, they remember the good. That's a devotee. See the good, learn from the mistakes. Okay, so tomorrow you are Srila Prabhupada and we start off by talking about how Prabhupada is for everyone, everyone, not just for this kind. Srila Prabhupada, Ki Jai. Jai.